enjoyed it. What's up guys, welcome back to Billy Forox. So uh, as you probably saw my Instagram account, I've purchased a new helmet. Here it is, the next XD1. Uh, the reason I've got a new helmet is because uh, the camera is, uh, is looking a little bit knackered now and I've had it for a couple of years and it's done about 20,000 miles, which isn't a lot. Uh, and it works perfectly fine, the visor works perfectly fine, it stays up, I mean, you know that's a that's a sign that the mechanism is starting to get worn out as this just starts to just flap around uh, so I'm still gonna keep it obviously you can't really you I mean you can sell a second-hand helmet but um, I certainly wouldn't advise buying one but uh, but there you go it's up to you but yeah I mean I've dropped it a few times it's got some nicks and scratches in it and little dinks of paint have come off and uh, they do say that you should buy a new one every two years or so um, which I think is pushing it a little bit, considering these are, you know, 300, 400 pound, it's, it's, it's a big payout every uh, couple of years. Uh, my first Arai, as you probably know, I had for uh, 10, 12 years, and I still have it, it's actually on top of the shelf there, and it works perfectly fine still, so that's entirely up to you. But um, I thought I'd treat myself to a new one, so let me show it to you. I'll give you a quick rundown, quick show on here. And then I'll go into a finer detail about all the uh, uh, little elements on it. So it's made by a company called Nex. You can see on the back there, that's how it's spelled, N-E-X-X. -X. They're a Portuguese company, and uh, you may not have heard of them, uh, which is perfectly understandable because they're very new in uh, the kind of helmet uh, business. And uh, the reason they've created quite a stir is because... Uh, well, you guys in America and Australia uh, and elsewhere, in the UK we have a magazine called Ride, and they uh, test motorcycle gear, helmets, gloves, clothing, uh, tools, everything related to motorcycles. And what they do is, the one that kind of uh, wins overall gets a green Ride Recommended Triangle. I'll show you a little picture of that in case you uh, haven't seen it. So, what they do is, that's quite a, a coveted thing to uh, get in the in the biking industry, and it means it's whatever wins that triangle has performed better overall than all the other products uh, in this in this range. Now, from a company that's very new to beat the likes of Arai and Shuey and and, and Schubert and all those well-established guys is uh, is quite quite an achievement. So they have to be applauded for that. So. That's the overall design, similar to the Arai, although the Arai has a classic sort of rounded shape. This has a slightly more sculpted back on it and it's supposed to aid aerodynamics and reduce lift for when you're going quite fast. Sometimes a helmet can kind of lift up. Uh, this is supposed to reduce that. I haven't put it to the test yet, but I will and I'll show you pictures of that in action. So there you go. So there's a few features on here, like I said, that I'm going to show you close-ups and uh, we'll run through each one and uh, we'll run through the price in comparison to the Arai and we'll also run through uh, the differences such as the weight. This is a very light helmet and the minute I put it on I realise that it's almost um, a few miles down the road It's uh, you forget you're even wearing one. It's incredibly comfortable as well for a new helmet which isn't even broken in properly yet. So let's have a look at the individual features and uh, yeah, we'll get a few more details. All right. All right, so let's have a look at the peak first. Now you get these on all in, these style sort of enduro helmets. Uh, the idea is you're riding into low setting sun and if you tilt your head slightly, the peak will cause a shadow to go over your eyes and therefore you don't have to squint, which improves safety. Now the benefits of this one, which I haven't seen on any other helmet, is with this peak, it's extendable by about half an inch. And that will make all the difference. If this visor, the, the standard bit can't block out the sun, the extra bit should be able to. It gives you that whole extra kind of uh, uh, distance to, to, to cover your eyes. So that's a really nice feature. And that comes as an optional 
it comes as not it comes with the helmet but you don't have to it doesn't come attached so you attach that yourself it's really easy there's two little screws there one there you can see one on the other side and there's a kind of uh, gap in the visor there and it just slides along easy you can do that when you're moving it's no problem okay the next bit is a sun visor now I've never owned a helmet with a sun, a sun visor before I've seen bikes with them or helmets with them um, and I must admit it's one of those things that you get and you think how did I like use a helmet this long without having this feature and it's such a cool feature I love it and it really does a trick as well so um, if the peak doesn't do enough by keeping the Sun out your eyes that certainly will and one thing I love to do is ride with the uh, visor up and obviously if you do that and you haven't got sunglasses on you're risking getting bugs and shit into your eyes and you don't want to do that it's dangerous so this is the best option you ride it along easy enough to do with this lever at the top here pull it forward bang you've got a sun visor okay so let's have a look at the vents it's got a massive vent at the front here and i really like this because it's like it's effectively just a giant switch easy to operate with gloves on obviously uh, nice clicking action so you know you can feel it straight away when that's open that's a really nice vent on the front and on the top here unlike the Arai where it's either open or closed these have two options so closed obviously half open fully open one on that side as well and at the back you have the exhausts the, the outtakes for the uh, for the air that's coming in so that's that now the thing obviously these days a lot of people attach GoPros to their helmets and uh, you know do motor vlogging like I do and a lot of guys do it this particular helmet they've kind of capitalized on that market and they've made they've built it specifically so you can attach a GoPro or whatever camera you use to the side of your helmet Here's the uh, GoPro uh, attachment with the sticky back. You just plunk it straight on there and it's built specifically for that job. It even matches the curve. And there like that. So that fits perfect. So there's one on that side. Again, this doesn't come fitted onto the helmet. It comes as an extra inside the box. Um, the original one kind of it has a, like a slight gradient to it and it matches the contour of the helmet a little bit better but I like this as it is you know it looks fine and it gives you the option of sticking that one as well there's one on that side and there's one on that side as well there you go so you can have choose your side or if you're rich you can have a GoPro on each side of your head there's also one on the top there that square plate again that doesn't come fitted but it does come with the helmet you can fit your mount on there as well and film from the top so there you go it's a perfect fit so they thought of um that's a really good uh option they've they've, they've got there and uh, that's that's going to sell it i think that's a really fantastic idea so that's that the other thing is unlike the arrow where you need a tool albeit a coin uh the uh, peak on this one is removable by just using your fingers you can click it up there that comes out like so and the top one this screw here you can undo that by hand I won't take it out all the way but uh, it's literally as easy as that and you do the other little lever on the other side and to put it back in just click that in there you can see it all lined up this thing in there close it and it's locked so like all enduro helmets you can either have it as the full enduro style you can take the peak off and leave the visor on and have a street uh, style helmet you can take the peak and the uh, visor off and you can have a proper off-road helmet and just have some goggles uh, so yeah it's a nice real simple easy to do nice little touch now another thing that they've done, which I thought was brilliant, is the integration of their own purpose-built intercom. It's 
called the XCOM, and it's built by, uh, it's designed by Nex, and it's built by Cena, the guys that do the very popular, uh, I'll show you actually. And that's a Scala. All right, so the next thing up is the uh, ability to uh, attach an intercom to this helmet, which is built by Nex, and it's called the XCOM. And it's designed specifically for next helmets and the idea is this panel comes off and the intercom fits almost flush to the side of the helmet unlike the Scala Rider on the Arai where it kind of sticks out the side which is a bit cumbersome it does a job but it's not particularly attractive looking so let me show you a picture of one of these when they're uh, fitted there you go, so it looks cool, it's nice and flush and uh, the buttons are nice and chunky operated with the gloves so I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna get that and fit that in and I'll show you that as well that's a nice, it's a nice thing to have when you've got the GPS you can hear the instructions in your ears as opposed to looking at the actual uh, GPS unit and also you can get, uh, you can Bluetooth music to it as well so it's fantastic let's see the extras that come with this helmet let me quickly show you. All right, let's see what you get in the actual box when you buy it. So, it comes with a nice little visor sleeve to put any spare visors in, like a tinted one. It comes with a big helmet bag, of course. Very handy for uh, traveling. And it comes with also what they call their ergo padding system. Basically, you can, if the fit straight out of the box isn't quite good enough, it's a little bit loose in certain areas, you can use these individual pads and put them wherever you want in uh, certain areas just to give it an extra bit of padding and a slightly tighter fit. Which again, you know, it comes it comes with it. It's, a, it's an option if you can put it in if you want. If you don't, you don't have to. But um, that's really, that's, that's another good thing. I really like that. So I'll keep that aside. Now also comes with a load of different plastic parts so let's first of all see what we've got European guarantee two years very good instruction manual how to do the peak how to remove it how to fit the intercom system which is the XCOM which I showed you earlier uh, how to change the vents all that sort of stuff. One thing I will say about this, you might be able to see it on the camera, is the pictures are really dark. And so dark, in fact, in some of them, it's blocked out the thing you're actually supposed to see. So uh, next, if you're watching this video, um, maybe speak to your printer guys and get them to line it up a bit. Uh, and also another note is, although it's not a biggie, it's quite poorly translated um, to English. It's uh, it's it's not the best but it's still understandable so that's just a slight niggle but the bigger deal is the darkness of some of these pictures and you can see it there it's pointing to it but you can hardly tell what it is it's pointing to but um, other than that it's completely understandable and uh, that's good so let's see now I showed you earlier the uh, the, the uh, side mounts for the GoPro well these are the ones that come fitted with it and as you can tell, hold on a sec, let's pick the right one. There you go. That's the difference. So you've got that one there. It's, well, it's not as pretty, but it's more practical for if you want to attach a GoPro. And to be honest, you could probably still, you could probably still attach it to there. Well, I don't know, maybe not. It's got a slight gap in it. But yeah, that's the difference. So you, you kind of, it follows the line of that helmet, of the uh, front of the helmet there looks nice but I took those off and attached the um, GoPro ones with just one little screw clips in job done so that's those the other thing you get is when you want to use it as a standard street helmet when you take the visor off you attach these which goes over the visor let's see this is the right one like so so they clip on again you don't need any tools switch it off job done now the front peak, the uh, air vent, you can either have it has, as it is at the box like I've got it here, or you can take this one out and attach this 
which is effectively an always open vent. Good, perfect for off-road. So you can have that and attach that in there as well. Looks good. So there you go. So that is all the extras and all the options that you get with the next XD1. All right, so there you have it. Those are all the extras and uh, what this helmet does and uh, all the little bits that come with it. So the next thing I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do another vid of uh, some riding footage. And one thing I'm gonna test is how bad or how well this copes with uh, buffeting and side winds. The Arai is, um, it's not too bad. It's, it, it depends, if you get a strong side wind, it can really knock your head to the side. Um, but you know, it, it's gonna happen with, with, with a peak of that sort of size. So I'm gonna see if this copes any better. There does seem to be a bit more room for air to pass through on it and everything, so it um, should be good. All right, guys. Um, yeah, like I said, the next video is gonna be me using it, riding it. I'm gonna give you a comparison. The one thing I will say is, although it's got more features, does that necessarily make it a better thing? I don't think so. I'd rather have a helmet that is um, the build quality is top notch rather than a helmet that has loads of extras on it and, and not gimmicky, but things that you wouldn't find on like, for example, the Arai. Um, as it stands, um, although this is a fantastic helmet, the Arai does feel slightly better quality, not in all areas, I mean, the only the only area that it feels better quality in is this strap, the chin strap. Now, the Arrow one just feels a lot thicker and a lot like it's gonna just fray apart and break. Um, the the one I've got on my Arrow on the top shelf there, which I've owned for about 12 years, it's only just started to fray. Um, so we'll see how well that handles kind of pulling on and off all the time and, and, and all that sort of stuff. And also the chin kind of uh, the chin guard there. A few times, especially the first time I tried it on, when I pulled it pulled it off my head, this came off with it, which I don't really mind to be honest because I probably won't even keep that on there. Um, it's just one extra thing that I could I could possibly do without, but. Um, it looks nice and it I can understand it keeps the breeze out and all that sort of stuff but other than that so far I think if you're gonna get a helmet which is this sort of style an enduro helmet uh, because of the cost how cheap this is and how much lighter it is I would recommend this over the Arai so far and I never thought I would say that because I'm a massive Arai fan and I've always I've always owned Arai's and I've tried other helmets like Shoeys and shoe buffs and I just can't get on with them. They hurt the top of my head after a while and they're just too, there's just something not right about them. But the Arai fits me perfect. Now I know people swear by Shoeys because it fits their head a certain way. So it's, you know, it's subjective to, to, to what you like. Uh, but the next is a top class helmet. I really can't fault it so far. It is comfortable, it is extremely light. And um, I'm going to take it out on the road, do some long tests on it. I'm going to attach a GoPro, see how that looks. Um, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, take it easy. See you soon. The next video is going to come up soon. And uh, be safe, ride safe. Adios. See you later. Bye.